sure he wasn't swerving to avoid something? An animal? Anything. I told you. He was driving like a maniac. I think we can tell that much by how he's ended up. I don't know what else to say. It's as if he doesn't know the road, he drives up and down it often enough. You know him? I know who he is, obviously. I recognize the car. He's some bigwig from British nuclear power, wasn't he? Pretty suitable death, then. He's practically deep fried the whole place. Stephen Blake for Mrs. Wilson. Who? It's Steve Blake. Uh, she doesn't know me. It's just that I was there when her husband had his accident. I thought I should come. I understand if she doesn't want to see me. Please come through. I'm sorry, I'm probably the last person you want to see right now. Are you a friend of my husband? Uh, no, no, I just... I was there when it happened. He's... Darling, who is it? How can I help you? I was so sure it was you. I saw you. What you saw was my car. It's my belief that your imagination did the rest. Filled in the blanks, so to speak. So, have they found out who it really was? Not much hope of identifying him from the remains, apparently. Be some local yob, joyrider. And the, the car was taken from the pub car park. Must have been a pretty sophisticated joyrider. I mean, the security on Jags is daisy. Well, perhaps the man was an experienced and determined car thief, stealing to order. It does happen. So why was he driving like a maniac? Well, who knows? A car with that power in the hands of some spotty youth is a dangerous beast. No. No, I saw the man. He was older. Mr. Blake, you came to my house because you thought I was dead. I hardly think you're a great judge of what does or doesn't make sense. Now, as diverting as this has been, I have a very demanding schedule. Of course. I'm sorry, sir. You can't do that here. Sorry, I didn't realize. How's it going? Steve Blake, I was, I was here last night. I witnessed the accident. Of course. Of course you did. You've already made your statement, haven't you? It's a funny business, isn't it? You're not being James Wilson in the car after all. So what's your theory? In my job, it never does to jump to conclusions too soon. Mr. Wilson told me the remains were too burnt to be identified, so how do you go about finding who it was? Dental records. You were nearer to the explosion than me. You felt the heat. There was nothing left. I know these cars have big petrol tanks, but I was wondering if something else might have caused the explosion. That has occurred to us, Mr. Blake. We've got a couple of explosive experts coming over. I suspect I have slightly more experience with these things than you do. So you think something odd might have been going on? I don't think anything until I've got the evidence.
moment of truth. Was he dead? Or was he faking it? Or was he lying to prove a bigger truth? I want you to think about the relationship between the truth and an image of it. Do you see what you want to see? Or what the photographer wants you to see? Where's the truth? so damaged that, practically speaking, there was nothing to do a post-mortem on. <coughs> Unusually, even the victim's teeth were destroyed by the severity of the blaze. I would, however, like to comment on the degree of burn suffered by the victim. They were so exceptional that I asked the forensic scientist on the case to account for the heat at what was basically a car accident. Um, with your permission, I'll read his comments. To generate the degree of destruction that I saw at the accident site, you would normally need the sort of heat generated by a bomb or volcanic rock. I can only conclude that the victim's car had in some way been exposed to as yet unidentified chemicals or explosives. Thank you. Superintendent Ferguson, anything more to add? Just that we are conducting rigorous inquiries into the possibility that Mr. Wilson's car was exposed to some sort of radiation at the power plant where he is based. So far, I'm afraid our investigations have proved fruitless. And in your considerable experience, is such evidence likely to be forthcoming? Uh, frankly, no. The incident was unusual, but accidents are by their nature unusual. Although we can only speculate, it is my personal belief that this was the work of another so-called joyrider. Thank you, Superintendent. Oh. Open verdict. What's that supposed to mean? What it says, no conclusions can be drawn. I saw that car go over the edge of the hill. The driver was a middle-aged man in a suit. He didn't look much like a joyrider to me. Yes, you thought you saw James Wilson go over the edge. That doesn't make you a terribly reliable witness. I'm afraid all the real evidence was destroyed in the blast. Yeah, it's remarkable, isn't it? Sorry, uh, Superintendent, can I have a quick word? What is it you wanted to know? I just wondered if you'd considered the possibility of a political attack on James Wilson. A terrorist cell, perhaps? Well, why not? Head of British nuclear power, he's got to have one or two enemies. Anti-nuclear lobby, anything. Why does a terrorist who successfully breaks into Mr Wilson's car then settle for driving it off? He was driving towards James Wilson's house when he died. Maybe the car was packed with explosives. Well, we are pursuing this line of inquiry, Mr Blake. An open verdict doesn't mean our work stops. So where's your new evidence? I'm sorry. You said in the inquest you thought it was a joyrider. But yesterday you said you didn't have all the evidence. When we talked yesterday at the accident site. Mr. Wilson dying at the wheel of his car. Conversations with me that you and I never had. I think your memory is playing tricks on you, Mr. Blake. Again. What's your problem, Mr. Blake? Is your life really so dull? 
My problem is that some poor bastard was killed in your car. Nobody cared much as long as it wasn't you. Well, just how far do you think our sympathy should stretch? This idiot stole a car. He was probably on drink and drugs. He drove the thing at high speed along a badly lit road. He left no he... skid marks. What? He lost control of the car, but he didn't brake. Have a look at the road. It's not a mark. Oh, I'm sure the police would have some explanation. <laughs> would you stop that, please? Yeah, I'm sure they would. They seem to have an explanation for everything. That's why I'm not going to the police with this. I'm going to the press.